video, I'll be looking into one of the query raised by uh, one of the subscriber. So the query is basically like a while back, I posted a video on what is administration mode in Microsoft Power Platform. So in an administration mode, what happens is uh, when uh, you put a an environment, Power Platform environment in an administration mode, basically uh, the users will not be able to access the environment. So take, for example, if you have any app or if you have a site, user will not be able to access that. However, admin will be able to access the backend functionality. This is useful when admin wants to do some changes and they don't want their changes to interfere with the user changes. And also at the same time, if user make any changes that should not impact admin's work. So basically this is mainly used during the operational uh, settings change within an environment. And it is usually done off hours. Now, Bhavika has asked a question, what happens to the power pages when the environment is in admin mode? So this is mainly about power pages and not about power apps. So let's see what happens in real time. So I have this uh, environment named as Girish Dev. So it's a developer environment. Now here I have one website. So as you see over here, Girish Dev environment and Philadelphia is a website. So let me refresh this page so that I can show it to you that once it loads, so let me reload this. So once this uh, website loads, uh, I will be able to make changes. Okay, so this is like a normal day to day operation whereby the environment is yet not put in an administration mode, I should be able to load the design studio, I should be able to make the changes. And at the same time, I should be able to test the changes as well. So just by clicking on the preview, uh, I should be able to test the changes. So as you see over here, this website is loaded. And if I make some changes in my page, okay, so I'll just click on sync and then it should sync up the site. Uh, once that is done, what I'm gonna do, I'll click on preview and then that should load the preview of the website. Now I have yet not enabled the administration mode. I'm just showing you the first operation. What happens is like uh, when you start editing your Power Pages site. So I've already opened this page. So let me close this page and I'll click on preview and then preview desktop. So it's gonna load the page X. And as you see over here, this is the response. Now, this is like when you are doing some changes on your website. Now, suddenly what happens is like, if you encounter issue within your website, what you might do as an admin or maybe a, as a developer, and if you do not want an end user to see some grave mistake, what you have done, and uh, maybe it's like an operational change or something, okay? So in that case, what you need to do is, if you go into the environment, you can just click on, uh, basically you, you go into the edit settings, okay? So you just click on this, and from here under details, you click on edit. Okay, so if you click on edit, what happens is you get an option to make this uh, environment in an administration mode. Okay, now before I put uh, the environment in administration mode, let me pick up as an another user. Okay, so there is a another user who is not an admin. Okay, so this is the username is Lee Ku. Okay, so this is a separate user. Now this separate user, uh, let me close all the other window and if that user clicks on this website that user sees this error message it says you do not have access to it and it makes sense because leegu technically does not have access to the site so what i'm going to do i'm going to just go over here and go to security and in site visibility i will grant site access to leegu so that leegu can also start the development process for my website So once this loads up, what I'm going to do, I will be assigning Lee Gu the site access and Lee Gu should be able to see the website now because earlier Lee Gu was not able to see the website. So let me see if Lee Gu can access this website or not. And yes, it will ask for the authentication. And then once it passes the authentication, yes, Liku can come over here and then Liku can view the site, right? So this is like a normal behavior. Now we haven't put the environment in administration mode. Now, now if 
Girish is an admin. Okay, so what Girish is going to do? Girish will come into the Power Platform environment, and now he will make the administration mode as enabled and click on Save. Now, the moment you put put an environment in an administration mode, that means all the changes which happens to the environment will be limited, and it will be only visible or made available to the administrator okay so the person having a system administrator or a system customizer role will be able to make the changes but any user who is actually using this system as a like a base user or any other custom role will not be able to make any changes so example if a environment host model driven app or a power pages site the end user will not be able to make those changes now, once you set an environment in an administration mode, it will go into various stages. Now, if you want to know more about this, I've already covered in the video, what is administration mode in Microsoft Power Platform. So I'm not going to go in much depth. So I'm just putting this environment in admin mode. The moment an environment is put in administration mode, it will show you that this environment is currently in admin mode. So only admins can sign into it. You can turn off the administration mode in settings. So again, you can go into edit and then disable the admin mode. But we need to check, like as per the query of the user, now we have, uh, if you see the query, it says what happens to Power Pages when the environment is in admin mode. So I, as an admin who was earlier editing the page, let's go ahead and see if I can log in. Uh, I clicked on page and can I create an another page? Yes, I can go ahead and create another page, okay? and. Can I uh, sync the site? Let's see. I'll sync the site. So this, I have put an ad, uh, environment in an administration mode, and now I have made some change, and also I'm syncing the changes, okay? And all good. Just to confirm whether the environment is actually in admin mode or not, you can verify just by looking into this message when you, once you go into the environment or alternatively you can even see the recent operation from full history so if you see the recent operation here you will see that oh uh, on 25th of the first or uh, 7 17 a.m something has happened okay so that means yes i have just made that changes now once this uh, site syncs let me preview this site okay so i'll go to preview and desktop and if I just write something over here, so let me write some some text in this box. Now we sync it. So as an admin, I will be able to edit any uh, page. I'll be able to make all the operations within the Design Studio. But we just want to see whether I can preview the site or not. Okay, so if you see over here, the moment I go to do the preview, so as you see over here, I am not able to see anything on the site, right? Page dash two. So this is already synced, so I'm not able to see anything on the page. Let's see the other pages, okay? So let me see if there is a page called as X, okay? So there is a page X. If I click on it, I will not be able to see the preview. So that means the admin will not be able to see the preview uh, when the admin uh, when the site uh, when the environment is put it in a, put in an administration mode. But they can make a change. Okay. So just to conclude on this, uh, so based on the user's query, like what happens to the Power Pages when the environment is in admin mode? Yes, uh, when the environment is in admin mode, what happens is like the administration can administrator can go into the Power Pages Design Studio, make the changes to the website, sync the content. However, the only disadvantage is like the administrator will not be able to preview the website because this website is already hosted somewhere uh, and we don't want end users to see the result. Okay, so that's uh, what we can conclude from this observation. So administration can make, administrator can make the changes in the backend design studio, or do some background operations, but then at the same time, uh, you'll not be able to preview the site. The only preview option which you can see over here is in the design studio. Now, other options, uh, what administrator can do is like if they want to actually preview it, they can take the site offline. 
So if you have already put the site in a uh, public, uh, when you're ready to go live, you can just put it in private because that's where the option is all about, right? So when you're building a site, make sure that it is in private because that's the option you don't want the end users to see the content of the site so you can choose who can view and interact with your site site administrators will already have access to this once you are ready with your changes you put it in in public mode and then uh, your site is ready to go live so in that case the site is basically available to all of your users so that's it folks uh, thanks for the question and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching